There's a new way to watch TV with your friends. We're going to tell you all about it right here, right now on Digits. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Simon Constable, and we got the one and only Shandy Race from San Francisco joining us now, where she's with the Wall Street Journal. Thank you very much for being there, Shandy. <laughs> Um, we were just watching um, a, a promotional video there um, that was uh, pretty interesting by Glue. Get Glue. Tell us about uh, tell us about this this new way to watch TV with your friends. The idea is that the old channel guide where you turn on your TV and you just sort of flip through channel after channel to find what you want, that's the old way. That's not how we're going to watch TV in the future. The way we're going to watch TV in the future is that our channel guides are going to know what shows we like. It, they're going to know what sports teams we like. They're going to know who our friends are and what our friends like. And instead of showing us everything that's on TV, it's only going to show us what we will probably want to watch or what it thinks we'll want to watch. And so the idea is that you're going to have this really social experience because it's about what you like, it's about what your friends like, and you can also you know, talk about these things together and comment um, on the shows as you're watching them. And then you know, the guy gets to know you even more. The guy gets to know you even more. Um, that we've seen a bit of that on Netflix where you rate the movies you like, but that's just what you like. Exactly. as opposed to what your friends like. Now, this app um, is getting um, upgraded, right? The original app has been loaded about three million times. Right. So GetGlue uh, originally was sort of the leader in this TV check-in space, which was a little bit odd, um, if you ask me. It was kind of just, um, if you were watching a show, you would ch check into that show. So the way that you check in on Foursquare, you know, you tell all your friends where you are. You tell all your friends, oh, I'm watching this show. So I did it a few days ago to test it out, and I was watching the newsroom. So I checked into the newsroom, and all my friends could see on Facebook that I was watching the newsroom. Now, what happened after that? I don't know. I mean, a few people maybe commented and said, oh, I like the newsroom too. And the idea was that it was going to stimulate this conversation. But I think that what the um, people uh, who run this app have seen and what a lot of other apps have seen is that the check-in was sort of the first part, but it's really not the end of the journey in terms of social TV. And the end is going to be that, you know, based on all this information and based on how you interact with your friends, they can show you information that's relevant to you in a way that um, will just make a lot more sense than just scrolling through channels. Tell us about Peel, Peel Technologies. So Peel is the same thing as GetGlue. All of these companies are essentially doing the same thing. Um, you know, they're trying to create a way where they connect to Facebook and they can pull all the things that you like so that they can show you relevant information. Now, one of the things that Peel is doing that's a little bit different and more interesting um, is that Peel wants to be able to show you not only what's on TV, but what you in that moment have access to. So, for example, if you are a Netflix subscriber, Peel will know that. And, and you can, Peel will say, listen, you like, you know, um, Breaking Bad. Maybe you'd also like Mad Men. Uh, you can watch Mad Men right now on AMC. Or because you're a Netflix subscriber, you can get Mad Men on Netflix. Or you can get Mad Men on Hulu. And it will tell you because it'll know all those things. And the problem with that is that that requires partnerships with all sorts of companies like Netflix, like Hulu, with cable providers. And so that's something that, you know, I don't know if that's going to come right away. That's a little bit more of a visionary idea um, that will come in the future. What, what if you're like me, Shandy, and you don't really care what anyone else is watching and you don't particularly want anyone else to know what you're watching? I mean, I, you know, I, I'm quite capable of picking my own movies and stuff like that. and. I don't particularly care if you want to know or not. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, so that that's a, a very good point. And um, I think that these companies are pretty aware of that. And so, um, you know, there are two ways that they can get this data. One is that you can tell them yourself. Like you pointed out with Netflix, you rate the things that you like. Um, or, you know, a good example is when you go on to Amazon and you buy a book, it'll say people who bought that book also bought XYZ. So, you know, there's all sorts of ways that these companies can collect data. It doesn't have to be through Facebook. And so with most of these companies, you opt in to use Facebook, which means that you, you don't have to go back and share that information with your friends. You can just teach the guide um, based on your own likes uh, what, what you would want to see. Now, you may not be getting as, as good of a response as you would if you used Facebook, but, you know, you can teach that guide and it'll learn over time based on what you tell it and what you watch what mm. you like. What about TVGuide.com? What are they doing? 
Um, so TVGuide.com um, also has a company called uh, TV Guide Mobile. Um, it's it's part of the same digital network of you know TV Guide, and um, they're doing the same thing uh, that these other companies are doing. They're creating these smart. Uh, guides. And again, the idea is just that the old guide that you're used to is a thing of the past. And the new guide is going to be a lot smarter about what it is that you like and show you information that it's a lot more relevant to you. Now, tvguide.com hasn't actually said what their guide is going to look like. Um, they have a very basic mobile app right now, and they're going to be launching a new one in a few weeks, um, but they won't give specifics on it. So we don't know too much. All we know is that they talk about how, you know, the traditional channel guide is the 2D experience, and they're moving to the 3D experience. Not literal 3D, uh, but figurative 3D. Awesome okay. stuff. Love it. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much, you. Shandy Race of the Wall Street Journal. And you can read more on Shandy's article on WSJ.com.